hi guys uh, my name is Eno and welcome back to my channel in today's video I'll be talking about uh, physical keys or security keys that you can use to secure your gmail accounts so these are uh, physical keys that you you plug into the their, uh, their device so you, you can plug it into a computer you can also plug this into a, a phone or you can use the uh, Bluetooth you just tap tap on the phone so there's different kinds um, the, the most popular brand is the YubiKey by Yubico which is right here and then there's another brand by uh, Google so I have two of them this uses wi uh, wireless, uh, wireless or uh, Bluetooth and then there's the, an adapter here you plug this onto the phone and then you can plug the, the other end this one right here you can plug on the comp in, into a computer and also, and also you can use the Bluetooth on it. So I'll go on to my computer and show you how to use this uh, as a form of uh, two-factor authentication to secure your account. So right here I have a new um, a new Gmail account. So I haven't set up any uh, any security features on it. So I'll go ahead and uh, show you some of the things you need to do. So you go to you just click on the icon. Once you're once you're logged into that account, just click on that icon, open open Gmail, and then I mean open Chrome, and then click on this this icon right here, and then go to where it says manage your manage your Google account, and then at the left here, look for the option that says security, and then click on it. So right at the top here, it's, it's going to give you recommendations um, to protect your account. So click on this where it says protect your account. And then the, the first two things you want to make sure you add is a phone number and also a recovery email. So in case you maybe you forgot your password or if somebody's trying to access your account and they, they're trying to verify who, who if it's really you, they'll try to contact you via this phone. And let's say you forget the, the, uh, the password to your account. You use, they'll send um, a link or, or they'll send you information for recovering that that email using, using this recovery email. So for this one, I'll, we'll just go through the steps for uh, adding a recovery email. So I'll add an email, just click add. And then you want to put in the password for this account. So I'll go ahead and put in the password. And then right here is where you add that recovery email. Just make sure you can access the, the email you're putting as, as your recovery email before you, you add it here. So I'll go ahead and put a recovery email for this. Then click next. And then they'll send you a six-digit code at the recovery email. So that's why I said you need to make sure you can actually log into the recovery email because that's where they'll send you the code. So I'll go ahead and uh, get the recovery uh, the, the verification code. So it says that the, the the recovery email has been verified because I've, I've put in the code that they sent to this recovery email. So you can click done. So right here, I've just uh, added a recovery email. Uh, good practice, security practice is to add a phone. We'll go to the account again and try and add uh, more security uh, to that account. So, so if you scroll down further down, you'll see um, where it says signing in into Google. You have the password. Here, you can manage your password. You can change it. You can go in and change it if you want to. And then you have, uh, you can use your phone to sign in. 
so you just you just need to turn this on and add the phone and then the, there's the two-step verification this is where you add the um, this is where you can also add a phone so we've got we, you can add a phone and you also you add you can add a security key a physical key this is just an added layer of security in, in addition to your password so you enter your password and then you get a unique code that can be sent to your phone or you can put a password and then put in a, um, a key um, insert your your token and then either tap on it or put a pin so we'll go to get started again you have to log into your account so for two step of verification you can add a phone number here you can also add um, it gives you more op show more options so if you, you click on show more options you can get a, a security key you can use a security key a small physical device used for signing in so the tokens I showed earlier they can be used here Google prompt you can get a prompt on your phone and you just tap on the prompt and then sign in so we'll go to security key here make sure your key is with you but not connected to your device yet okay so we'll go to the next so here just click on it's gonna say uh, insert your security key into the USB port so just find a USB port and insert your security key so I'm gonna insert my security key into one of my USB ports then it's gonna tell you to touch it so you'll see it's gonna blink there's like a small circle where it's gonna blink so you just touch on that and right away your security key is registered you can give it a name uh, so now uh, your security key is registered from now on you use it to sign in with two-step verification so just just click done Just make sure you don't lose that key because you, and, and you can also have a backup key and set up an, a second key in case you lose your main, your, your, your first. So there's, there's, they're telling you there's um, other options as far as signing into your account as a, a second step after entering your password, which normally uh, involves you using your phone to tap. Uh, once you put in a password it's going to send a prompt on your phone and then you you tap on that you can use additional backup steps like you can get the backup codes that you can print out in case you this allows you to get into your account if you like if you lose your security key and you lose your password so it's good to to print those out and then then this is just the google prompt after you put it up, uh, you put in a password, and then they send you the prompt uh, on your phone as a second step verification. Another option here, you can use an app like the Authenticator app. This is just an app you install on your phone, and then you use the app to get like a code, uh, like a PIN, which you then enter in before you can log in. And then you can also get voicemail or you can get text messages as a second step verification as well. So that's pretty much it. So we've set up that key and we can try and see if we can log in and see if we get prompted. So I'll go ahead and uh, sign out. Then I'll, go, I'll try to sign it back in. I'll go ahead and put in my password. So as you can see here, it's requesting that I touch my security key. So I have to have the security key inserted 
in a USB port and then I have to touch on it and there you go the account is verified like I said uh, you need to make sure that you don't lose this and also you want to make sure you can have a second one a backup key in case you lose uh, you lose one you'll have the second one otherwise you lock yourself out of your account and then you and there you are you're logged in so let's see what happens if I don't have the key. So let's say I don't have the key. I say sign in. Next, I put in the password. So let's say I, I can't, I click on that. So here it gives you, if I close that window, I can say try another way, try another way to sign in. So since on this account only uses we don't have a phone set up it's only allowing you to use use your security key okay so that's it so so that's it for this video um that's how you add a security key as a, a second uh, step for verifying your account uh, in addition to your password thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye